Hello, my name is Judy West and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to do the three snowman Christmas card and uh, if you check the files you will find that the instructions are online in the file section of my Facebook group Card Making with Judy. And uh, these, this, ra this section here is raised on mounting tape and so are the heads and so are the noses. The uh, bows are glued on by glue dots and those little uh, buttons and hearts are cut out by paper punches. And I've just left the uh, middle plane. So let's get started. First of all, you have one A5 piece of paper that you fold in half, and that is your card. But I've also got a second piece of A5 paper, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a wavy line, as you can see here, to mimic snowy peaks. And uh, I'm going to make that um, not too far up the card because I want to be able to see the um, to see the snowman. What I'm going to do is measure up about three centimeters on either side. and then draw a curvy line in between like that and cut that line and if you do this on the back then you don't have to rub it out let's turn it over now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line of glue along that edge like that smoosh it a bit make it a bit bumpy okay you need a thick glue for this not a thin glue and then I have some glitter and I have some really sparkly white glitter and I'm going to put this over here and sprinkle the glitter onto the glue. Just make it have a good covering. And believe me, when it comes to glitter, it doesn't matter how careful you are, it's going to get all over the place. I'm sorry. And I'm pushing it in as well, just to make sure it sticks to that. And then, using my, fing my finger, I'm going to flick the back to try and get it to drop off any excess. The other thing you could do, if you wanted to, would be rub a little brush along there, along your edge, and along the other side just to make sure there's no glue that's in the wrong place there. Now, I'll just put that aside for now. I'll sort getting it back into the bottle later as we're going to use it again. Now then we're also going to cut a piece of white and a piece of red one and two centimeters wide. The red will be two centimeters and the white could be one or one and a half centimeters. Oh, the green one or one and a half. It's up to you. And I'm going to stick that along the bottom there and I'll just glue that on 
And look, if you've got thick glue, there's no reason why without squeezing the, the nib anymore, you couldn't go in and spread it out a bit. Run it along the bottom edge there. Now, most of you'd be tempted to cut it now. Don't. Wait till you've done put the green on. Do it all at once and you get it all the same. I'm smooshing that all around with the, the nib. And then I'm going to stick that on there so that we've just got a slightest little border along the top edge. And you could have the border along the bottom edge if you want. And then you cut off the excess. There we are. Now while that's drying, I'm going to take this leftover paper here and I have some paper punches. I have a one and a half inch circle and a two inch circle. So I'm going to cut three small circles. And always if you turn your, your punch over so you can see where the, the hole is, you can cut it with the least amount of wastage of paper. And then three larger circles. Now I'm going to show you something interesting. I just want to get a pale grey edge around the body and the head, just so it stands out from the white background. Now you could use ink, but then you'd get a very strong look to it. Although if you used a sponge um, or a dauber and a, a pale grey, you could um, just uh, go or just on the edge and get a soft look too but here's another way to do it I'm just going to get a piece of I haven't got my um, silicon mat so I'm just using a piece of plastic to put this on so I don't dirty the background and I'm getting out these are called paper stumps. They come in various sizes. You can get them, Derwent puts them out, and you can get them from art shops. And it's for smudging or blending. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little piece of uh, a little pencil and I'm just going to go around the edge. And I'll just show you on one and then I'll come back when I've finished. But I'll just go around the edge. It's not perfect. If you have a look at that, see, it's not perfect. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to smudge it with this paper stump. Now, the harder you push on the pencil, the darker it will be. So don't push hard push hard with the paper stump to, to blend but don't push hard with the pencil because the harder you push the more lead you're going to put on the page and see now we've just got if I can pick that up a soft grey edge on that if I put it against the white it's easy to see now okay I'll come back once I've uh, done the others I finished blending all those uh, edges and now what I'm going to do is glue these snowmen to the front of this card. So the large ones, just give that a better edge, 
the large ones will go across the bottom like that and if I stick them either end first then I'll get an even overlap in the middle and I glue them on just with glue or tape Now, what we're going to do is put the mountains on with mounting tape on the front of the card. So, cut off a few pieces of mounting tape. I'm not laying this over because the glue's still wet. I only need a little piece for that, the end there. There. And then we just peel this off. and position it on the bottom edge over the top of your snowmen. Now, before we put their heads on, what I've done is I've got some black paper and some red paper. Some black here some black. Now with the black I've got two of these punches. One is a heart punch. Can you see the little heart there? Now this other little one it punches out little scalloped circles and I thought they would look nice for buttons. Now you can't see anything dropping off the bottom because there's a little catchment in this. That allows me to undo it and let them pop out. There we are. And uh, we'll just um, get that one off there before it sticks. Okay, so now what we're going to do with these is we're going to glue a couple to each snowman's body or maybe only one, depending on how much space has been left. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off with that. So there's only a little bit on each one. And put them on with tweezers. Now, I don't want them right up near the neck because we're going to put the bow up there. So let's just pick one up at a time. Put a little bit of glue on it. I don't have to really over soak it because this is quite a good glue see that one will fit one there but we might get two on this one let's see how we go one there and one below it There we are. So, I don't need those. And now what I'm going to do also is um, punch a little heart out of the red. So, turn it around the right way for starters. Make sure the red covers the hole. Three little hearts, pop them out, 
I don't want to come out. Ah, there we are. And we do the same thing, pick them up with the tweezers. Put a bit of glue on them from the um, put a bit of glue on them and I might put them off to that side there put that one off to that side because you can see it there on that side and this one there it is might put it off to this side there we are so there's your little hearts and buttons on your snowman now the next thing you can do is mount these heads on so we go back to the mounting tape. We are turn them over so that we're putting the tape on the side that doesn't have the smudges. And just position the heads just above the bodies. Or you can have them over the bodies a little bit, depending on how much room you've got left at the top once you've positioned everything. Now we have also have some orange paper. And with the orange cardstock, I'm going to cut some triangles. They don't all have to be the same size, the same width or the same height. I just need to be triangles and I'm going to put a little bit of mounting tape on the bottom of each one and stick them onto the snowman for his nose about the middle of the face and coming up over the top just to create interest. Now, uh, one of the ladies in my card group, she put them at different angles and it was very interesting. So I'm going to make this one like she did and uh, position them at different angles. Just make sure that you can't see that mounting tape off the side there when you stick it on. As you can see, these ones are all exactly the same, so we're going to make these a little bit different. Okay. So, no, I don't like that there. I'm just going to put that up that way. Now, now that we've got those on, we need the face or the mouth. And so what I've done is I've just put a line either side of the nose and then just put a smile. So that one could be there. That one can be there. That one can be there. Okay? And as you can see, they're all looking in different directions. The next thing we need to do is the snow and um, in the background. So what I did was I used dobs of glue behind the snowmen 
and uh, a thick glue is not bad for this which is the type I'm using and don't put them all evenly spaced because nothing in nature is perfectly evenly spaced you'll have two together and a big gap and all sorts of things so now that I've done those daubs of glue I will get back my glitter take the lid off again and sprinkle it onto all those little daubs of glue and push them down a bit just to make sure that that glitter sticks to that glue and then we've got to get it all off again and as I said you might want to grab a brush and um, get anything off that doesn't um, look like it's stuck to glue in between all those spots you'll find there's lots of bits and pieces everywhere else now could be here all day doing that but yeah that works pretty well so now I will put the lid back on this before I move it and wipe up this bit of excess glitter here there we are get rid of that now we have snow on our falling behind our snowman as well as some snow on the top of the mountains there now the last thing to do is the ribbon under their necks now on this one I chose all the same color but on this one I'm going to do three different colours the most predominant colour is the oh these two are probably the most predominant colours so I might put the softer colour in the middle and I didn't tie a bow I just tied a knot like that for each one and as you can see by the ends of the ribbon I have not, I'm not tight, pulling that knot super tight because I wanted a reasonable um, thickness to, um, to glue on and I've cut the ends on an angle and I might cut them even shorter yet so you just put a knot on each one now if you're happy with that then you glue it on if you'd like to rearrange the colors and decide which which order you'd like the colors in I think I like that order then that's what you do and then you can glue them on and there's lots of different ways you can add this on you could do it with a thick tacky glue and it'll take a little while to to glue down um, you could use tape but it needs to be really strong in order to hold those down or you could use glue drops today I'm going to use the thick tacky glue I'm going to stick it on the side that's the flattest when it comes to the the knot now I'm looking at these bows and thinking they might be a bit long I'm not sure what do you think I think I'll shorten them a little bit
Ah, now that wasn't a smart move. Some more glue to that. This one's moving too. And there it is. Now, as you can see on this one, I had plenty of room to put that Merry Christmas, but on this one, I'm not, I haven't got the room there. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going, because I've got gold bow there, I think I'll put gold Merry Christmas across the green there instead. Now I have this Merry Christmas here, which is quite sparkly. And um, just catch it on the corner there and peel it up. And as I've said before, if you use a pair of tweezers you can get your positioning quite well without um, and able to see it quite well. So Mary. There's your Christmas. Snowflakes even. I've got some snowflakes on this sticker. Let's put some snowflakes around the Merry Christmas. Just to give it a lift. Make it a bit more interesting. And I always try and do odd numbers when I put things on, not even numbers. That makes it a bit more interesting too. So there's three, I'll put two at the other end and we've got five. That one up there. This one over here. There we are. And there's our Merry Christmas. So there's our little snowmen, three snowmen Christmas card um, with a couple of different versions. Hope you enjoyed that today. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video today, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell to be notified of my new videos.